Hey guys, it's Belt down here in front of Comerica Park, middle of July. It's all about hot dogs and baseball. Come December, it's going to be all about the ice. Talking legendary hockey teams, the Detroit Red Wings alumni, and the Toronto Maple Leafs alumni. Let's go inside. Ken Holland's about to announce the rosters. The NHL and the Vice President of Hockey Operations for the Toronto Maple Leafs, Dave Poulin. We're off to a great start in terms of putting our roster together. It's probably every general manager's dream to be able to choose from the names that we have to choose from. In addition to Jim McKenney, Kevin McGuire, and Wendell. Between the nets, starting with Mike Palmatier, moving to Curtis Joseph, and Felix Podvan. Up front, great Leafs captains, Rick Five, Dougie Gilmore, and Daryl Sittler have all committed, as well as multiple 50 goal man Dave Anderchuk. And just to make sure that the referees earn their money, Kevin McGuire and Darcy Tucker. And now for the uh, other side of things, the Executive Vice President and General Manager of the Detroit Red Wings, Ken Holland. The roster for the, uh, that, the players that are committed so far for the, uh, for the Detroit Red Wings roster. Um, in goal, so far we've got uh, Chris Osgood and Mike Vernon. We've got, obviously, the Hall of Famer sitting here, Dino Cicerelli, Alex Del Vecchio, Ted Lindsay, Joe Kosher. We're gonna have the grind line playing Joe Kosher, Chris Draper, Kirk Malpe, and Darren McCarty. 50 goal scorers, Mickey Redmond and Johnny O'Grodnick. Hall of Famer, Luke Robitaille, Larry Murphy, and Mark Howe. So uh, we're gonna get more players as we go along here, but uh, looking forward to an incredible, uh, incredible week in Detroit, an incredible game here at Comerica Park on December the 31st. Thanks for coming out. Ted Lindsay here always gave short guys like me a chance to make it in the NHL. Well, <laughs> I always look at that, you know, you look at, uh, Martin San Louis, mm. smallest guy probably, one of the smallest in the league. It's a small man's game. It's not a six foot four game. Well, that's true, but nobody called him terrible Martin St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know where the press got that, but <laughs> I, I, and I, maybe I lived up to it once in a while. There's not many terrible guys our size out there. So <laughs> you must have done something. Well, it was wonderful, wonderful way to make a living. Hey, down here with uh, Joe Kosher. Joe, who's the first guy you look forward to punching? Oh, no, I'm the first guy that asked me a dumb question. <laughs> I guess I'm done, huh? I asked Joey, and he said the first guy to ask him a stupid question, but who's the first guy you're going to slug? <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably, because he can take a punch. <laughs> He's proven that a few times. Well, the other guys are getting a little fragile now. Ask him his most famous fight in Detroit. All right, most famous fight in Detroit. I, I, I remember because, I don't know, was it in Detroit or was the it in brawl? Buffalo? Yeah. Oh, the brawl. Well, thanks for, thanks for bringing that up. The fans are going to love me. In case you guys don't remember this, uh, let's see. Uh, sucker punch, jump from behind, uh, Steve Eiserman. Well, yeah, but Proby was in there and Eiserman. And Pro wasn't Proby squaring off with Barrasso? It's called good time hockey. Oh, old time good time hockey. Of course, if you're looking for a, a speedy left winger, you know where to find me. <laughs> Where I, I heard you're going to be out of town. I... <laughs> hey, there you go, guys. December 2012 right here at Comerica Park. The great generations of hockey players from the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Detroit Red Wings. I'm Meltdown for WRIF.com.